What's up everybody, it's Ashton. I am here with another Worship Leader Hack video, number three, and it is about practicing, okay? Now everybody knows that they hate practicing. Well, at least I hate practicing. It's like one of the most annoying things, but that's just because I don't plan effectively. So hopefully these hacks and these tips that I come up with are not only gonna help you want to practice more, but it'll help me as well. So, the first one is make sure you plan enough time to practice before you have to do whatever it is you're practicing for. So, for instance, for me, I usually wait till the last minute, especially if I'm like playing keys at, at church. I always wait like probably the week or the week before the week I have to play. And then I don't learn the song effectively. And then I get upset when I'm at church and then I can't play it and it's really annoying and it's a vicious cycle that I put myself through every single time so tip or tip for myself is to make sure that I put enough time in between when I find out what song I'm going to play for and when I actually have to play make sure I have enough time in between if I can help it to practice that and to be productive in the practices so then I can be able to succeed whenever I, it's time for me to do what I am practicing for. Tip number two is the space that you, you know, need to practice in, make it a space that you like to be in. For instance, this is my space here, the keyboard, you can kind of see it a little bit. That's where I practice my keyboarding, keyboarding, I don't even know if that's a word. That's where I practice to play for church and usually the church, that's really all I play at. But singing wise, I'm mostly just like walking around the house when I practice singing. But when it comes to the keyboard, um, it's really hard for me to stay there unless I make it a place that I wanna be just because I'm like a little impatient with things and so I like to get up and do something else. But a tip for you is to make that space attractive to you. So put something there, maybe like a flower or like a picture or a book or something that I don't know, that'll just make you want to sit there and stay put and get the practice in that you need to get done so then you can be able to succeed later, okay? Tip number three, set a goal. So I want to be a better singer. I want to sound like this person or that person or I want to be as good as that person or whoever it is that I want to and that I admire. Okay, I have a goal. I have a goal to be able to breathe better when I'm singing. I have a goal to be able to hit higher notes. Make a goal for yourself when it comes to singing or playing. So then when you're practicing, you have something that you're trying to achieve. Now you not only need to practice for things, but just practice to just get better, period. It doesn't have to be for anything. But if you just practice, practice vocal warm-ups or um, playing warm-ups, just to help you be able to move around the keyboard a little faster or be able to hit your notes a little easier, doing that every day or every other day is really gonna help. And I have goals, I wanna be, I want my range to get bigger when it comes to singing, so I'm gonna practice doing my scales, I'm gonna practice breathing correctly and all that kind of stuff. So set a goal for yourself so that you have something to achieve and then once you hit that goal, you can try and achieve another goal and then you just keep stretching and stretching and stretching and then the sky's the limit for you by that point, okay? So those three things that I mentioned today, number one, prepare enough time so that you're able to practice and to have a successful practice. Number two, make the space where you're going to practice attractive so that you stay there and that you're like, want to do what you are like supposed to be doing. And three, set a goal I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Look at someone that you want to be like or figure out something vocally or musically that you want to achieve and try and get there, okay? So hopefully these tips will help you. They're going to help me. They're going to keep me accountable to practicing, which is like one of the least favorite things I ever have to do. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Later.